আউজু বিল্লাহিমিনাইতান রহিম বিসমিল্লাহির রহমান রহিম ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস অ্যান্ড অনারেবল গার্ডিয়ান অনারেবল ভিউয়ার্স আসসালামু আলাইকুম রহমতুল্লাহ টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু টেক অ্যানাদার ক্লাস অন উইদাউট ক্লোজ প্রিপেয়ার্ড অ্যান্ড প্রেজেন্টেড বাই দিস ক্লাস প্রিপেয়ার্ড অ্যান্ড প্রেজেন্টেড বাই মোহাম্মদ শফিকুর রহমান মোহাম্মদপুর রমন ধমরল হাই স্কুল সেনবাগ নোয়াখালী আওয়ার টুডেস টপিক অর আওয়ার টুডেস লেসন অলরেডি আই হ্যাভ মেনশন এট দ্য ভেরি বিগিনিং অফ মাই ডিসকাশন আওয়ার টুডেস টপিক ইজ উইদাউট ক্লোজ ইন মাই প্রিভিয়াস ক্লাস আই আই হ্যাড অলরেডি ডিসকাসড অন দিস টপিক ইলাবোরেটলি ইফ ইউ মিস মাই ফার্স্ট ক্লাস অন উইদাউট ক্লোজ আই উড লাইক টু রিকোয়েস্ট অল অফ ইউ টু ওয়াচ মাই ফার্স্ট ভিডিও ক্লাস অন উইদাউট ক্লোজ অ্যান্ড লেটস স্টার্ট আওয়ার টুডেস লেসন অর আওয়ার টুডেস ক্লাস আই হ্যাভ ব্রড টুডে টু উইদাউট ক্লোজ first question is here before your screen afforestation means preservation of trees preservation means uh, save or protect protection it is dash to deforestation it is what is afforestation and deforestation both are opposite word both are antonym antonym so In this uh, gap, we can uh, use the word opposite, okay? We can, word, we can use the word opposite. We can use the word opposite. It is opposite to deforestation. Dear learners, uh, listen here very attentively. It is, it is a subject and verb, so uh, in, in the gaps we can use a noun or adjective. So opposite is a noun to deforestation. Trees and plants are part and parcel. Part and parcel is a group word or is a phrase, phrasal word. Phrase, what is phrase? Phrase means a word combines with two or three words. Phrase is a word that combines with two or three words. Then we, but contain one meaning. But contain one meaning. Then we call it phrase. And a phrase does not contain any verb. Part and parcel. Part and parcel. In this phrase there is no verb. Part and parcel. Part and parcel, wh what is the meaning of part and parcel? Part, is, part and parcel means integral part, integral, okay? Trees and plants are part and parcel of the environment. Ecology fully dash on. Listen, very attentive, attentively listen, uh, please. Ecology here, ecology is now and fully is a verb and here is a lacking uh, what is the lacking in this sentence the lack of the sentence is verb in this sentence the lack the lack of verb so we can use uh, uh, in this gap a verb ecology fully dash on depend on depend ecology is a singular form that's why we can add s to make the verb singular ecology, ecology fully depends fully depends on trees and plants the country will dash will is a modal verb we know that after modal verb the a sentence contain a verb base form base form of the verb so the country will turn into turn into turn is a verb turn into desert desert 
there's land of sand land of sand everywhere sand there's no trees desert unless there are trees the trees help help to dash to after to we can use base form of verb so here we can also uh, use a verb trees help us to protect or to save to save the soil from erosion here we can use two two word uh, protect uh, and another is save trees help to to save the soil or to protect the soil from erosion erosion means being washed away the soil being being washed away this is called erosion flood can dash flood uh, can can is also a modal verb so after modal we can use uh, i have already mentioned that after modal we can allow uh, we are allowed to use only base form of the verb flood can can uh, dash effect here uh, you can see dear dear student can is a moral verb and effect is a verb is a principal verb so modal and principal verb the middle middle of the place middle place of modal and verb we can use adverb so hardly flood can hardly hardly is here is hardly affect those areas covered with trees the area covered with trees and that area flood cannot uh, impose the uh, its effect okay strong cannot dash is strong cannot can is also verb Modal verb and here is base form of verb. Moda uh, strong cannot impose is is forcefully on the place. Higher higher is a relative pronoun. Higher higher is a place. Place is a, a, is a land or sp uh, something uh, land. So here people, um, relative pronoun is higher. Higher there are trees. However, the trees are so dash so important so important or so vital that it it is impossible to think of our uh, thing of life dash it so life is people is pronoun and it is preposition so there is a, it it needs a connector to make connection between life and noun and pronoun so we can use here a preposition it is impossible to think of life without it dear dear students i hope all of you understand understood this uh, uh, fill in the gaps very well and another question for you this another question bangladesh is a country bangladesh is a country dash and area of 1 lakh 47,570 square kilometers here is a, is a sentence Bangladesh is a country is is already a, fin, a finite verb and here we can use non finite verb that's why having or, or we can use here a preposition with or covering Bangladesh is a country with or Bangladesh is a country Covering an area or Bangladesh is a country having an area of 147,570 square kilometers. It is dash with more than. It is. Look, look at the line, dear student. Uh, this sentence is is uh, uh, passive voice actually. This this line is passive voice. That's why here the fill in the gaps we can use um, uh, past participle form of the verb. Because every uh, uh, every passive voice must contain uh, past participle form of the verb. It is populated. It is populated with more than 100, 150 million people. Uh, about 1,000 people uh, live in per dash per square per square kilometer. Per per is population per square kilometer so uh, it is a dash populated country it is a look uh, look at the sentence uh, so it is a dash populated it is a verb and this past participle form so here we can use adverb it is a densely it is a densely populated densely is adverb 
So it is a densely populated country now. The present growth rate is very dash is very high. It's very high. Which should be should be if any sentence contain a um, modal verb and after modal there is be. So after be you must you, you must use or you have to use past participle form of the verb. So which which should be controlled, which should be controlled, controlled is past participle form of verb, controlled immediately, immediately. And not make a, any late, not make any late, that is immediately. If this rate, the if this rate dash on unchecked, here look, look at the this sentence, this sentence is lack of verb. So if in the gap we can use a verb. If this rate uh, and and uh, another point you, you you should remember that this sentence is uh, is a first condition or is, this is a complex sentence so if the other part of the complex sentence the other part of the sentence is bangladesh will dash will is a far, uh, present indefinite uh, for future indefinite tense then first part of the um, part if clause um, which is uh, add with if and the if clause must contain first uh, present indefinite tense. Sorry. So, so that's why here the verb is present form of the verb. If this rate goes, goes is a singular form of verb. If this rate goes on unchecked, Bangladesh will will face. Bangladesh will face. Face, face is a verb uh, because here is modal verb. Bangladesh will face a great problem. So everyone should come forward. Come forward is also a phrase word. Phrase word word. So come and forward combine, combinedly make one meaning come forward to dash to raise uh, after uh, two is it the, the another name of two is infinitive so after infinitive we can use uh, past uh, present form or base form of the verb to to raise public awareness so i repeat this this sentence so everyone should come forward to raise public awareness Dear students, uh, today uh, this um, that's all for today, and I hope you will enjoy my class very well and uh, try to uh, understand some something from my class. And uh, hope you will watch my next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz and stay safe and stay home and stay safe. Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.